So here we have a problem, a kinetics problem, that says the rate law for the reaction A plus B plus C produces 2G is experimentally determined to be rate is equal to K times concentration of A times concentration of B times concentration of C. And the question is, is which mechanism is consistent with this data? So when we're given mechanisms that have indicated which are the slow and fast reactions, we can start by writing the rate based upon the reactants in the slow reaction. So for example, for letter A, we could start by writing that the rate is equal to some value of K, some constant, times the concentration of, in this slow step, in, in the slow step of this option, we have A and another A. So that's going to be the concentration of A, but there's two of them, so we square it. Um, so this one only has a reactant in the rate law that we just found, so there's no way that we can get A, B, and C when we just got A squared. So that tells us that letter A is incorrect. For letter B, we can write that the rate is equal to some value of K times the concentration of, this time our slow reaction has reactants that are C and E and only one of each. So that would be the concentration of C times the concentration of E. Notice this one has E, which is a product of the first reaction and is consumed in the second reaction. That means that this is an intermediate and we should not keep that in the overall mechanism. You shouldn't keep um, intermediates in the overall mechanism, but let's give that, um, let's come back to that one and try letter C because we might be able to find one that's just directly works without having to deal with an intermediate. So this slow step is the reactants are A and B for option C. So that would be some K times the concentration of A, only one of them, times the concentration of B, and only one of them. So this one is just A, B, not A, B, C, and we don't have any intermediates, so that one would not be correct. Option D would have the rate law, rate is equal to some constant K, and the slow step here is has reactants of A and C, only one each. So that would be concentration A times concentration C. So again, that's not A, B, and C. So we can go ahead and mark out D. We know that the answer is B, but let's figure out how do we actually get A, B, and C. So the way we can do that is by writing in our fast reaction, we can write our KEQ, our equilibrium constant. Because this is fast, we can assume that it's going to be in an equilibrium state. And so if we write the products over the reactants, that would be the concentration of E divided by the concentration of A and B on the bottom. So then if we want to solve this KEQ equation for concentration of E, we can multiply both sides by concentration of A and concentration of B, making it that KEQ is equal to, sorry, KEQ times concentration of A times concentration of B is equal to concentration of E. So now, if we take what concentration of E is equal to and substitute it into our rate law that we wrote before, that would make that the rate is equal to some K times the concentration of C, and then substituting in times the concentration, excuse me, the 
Keq times the concentration of A times the concentration of B. From here, we can group our K times our Keq. This is just some constant that we haven't determined what it is yet, so we can just say that K times Keq is still a K. It's just some constant that we don't know. And then we have our concentrations of, we have A, B, and C. So just to write them in the same order that they had, concentration of A times concentration of B times concentration of C. So that one confirms that our, our rate law, in terms of only reactants, not intermediates, is K times concentration A times concentration B times concentration C. Well, I hope this video was helpful. Feel free to le leave any uh, questions in the comments if you would like, and please subscribe to my channel to help other people to be able to see homework, step-by-step uh, -step homework help solutions as well. Thanks. Happy studies.